And that has been Let's Play Albert Odyssey. We're now with the credits, so I will leave you with uh, my final thoughts. For the credits, we've got uh, the character art with uh, various music tracks playing in the background and the tree uh, with sunset. This game is, is it's very nostalgic for me. I, when I got the Saturn, I noticed there were a lot of RPGs, but not a lot of quote-unquote traditional RPGs, and by that I mean not the Final Fantasy style, not the Chrono Trigger. The You see your heroes versus the bad guys on a separate battle screen, and you know, that sort of thing. There are a lot of RPGs on the Saturn, like uh, the Shining Force games, uh, the dungeon crawlers like Shining the Holy Ark, Panzer Dragoon Saga, but this one, I, w I was waiting for this one to kind of vindicate me getting a Saturn. It's like, oh, there's going to be great role-playing games on this one, and there was, and this does rank up with it. Crotch shot. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was kind of superfluous just to show off Aka's uh, curves. <coughs> yeah. And all of the character images that you see here are actually in the instruction manual. So, lots of production art, whose working designs loves their full-colored instruction manuals with lots of concept art. So, uh, you, but you get the same concept art at the end of the game, so. Uh, but yes, I, I do really like this game. It's a fun RPG. The story actually does twist a little bit when you get to the halfway point and defeat Redorius Castle. You're like, okay, that's the end of the game. That's what we were expecting. And lo and behold, there is a deeper plot. So, it... it did surprise a bit. The graphics were a little subpar, but again, this was a Super Nintendo game that was remade during its production span to be put on the Saturn instead. So I wasn't really expecting much from the graphics, and it's graphics don't make a game. I'm I'm one of those gamers that will advocate that just because it's got great graphics does not make it a great game. Gameplay is what it is, <coughs> and. The gameplay for this, it's solid. It's its a solid RPG. The random battles do piss me off, and I would hate to see what the random battle rate would have been like had they not altered it according to the working design's uh, production notes. And I would have loved to have seen this LP if I did edit out the random battles. I finished this in less than 100 parts, I could have probably finished it in less than 50 without the random battles. And that's a scary, scary assumption. Just do all the boss fight videos and not any of the random encounters. I could, I can guarantee you that would have been less than 40, 50 parts. It's amazing. Uh, the music for this game. I've already talked about the graphics, so we'll do the music. The music to this game is phenomenal. I love the music. I love the music that's playing right now in the background. The soundtrack to this is just amazing. It's a great musical score. It's not as good as Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, but it really does rank up there as far as RPG music. It's Every song sounds sad, though. It has a very sad and very sombering feel to it, but the music itself is, is amazing. So, no matter how much I may have bitched about this game as I was going through it, I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed doing this LP. I hope you all have enjoyed it as much as I have. Hopefully, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> but for those of you who did not get a chance to actually experience this game on the Saturn firsthand, here you are. A, a somewhat competent LP of this game. Uh, I hope the gameplay and my commentary were of entertainment to all of you. I uh, Again, I love doing this. It was fun. <coughs> you have to forgive me. I'm coming off of a little chest cold, so I'm trying to not cough into the mic. Uh, other than that, I don't really know too much else what to say. Uh, this is yet another really good example of working designs pushing out a really good game. A lot of changes were made to it. I'm not even a lie about that. A lot of the script changes, a lot of the inserted dialogue that kind of dates the game. A, a lot of Saturn games did that. They really did. A lot of games have that 
dated reference to it, so you do know it's an old game. But, all in all, they did a great job with this game. I'm glad they were able to get it out. I'm glad it came out on the Saturn. With the, uh, a lot of the working turmoil between Working Designs and Sega, there was a, a lot of, uh, a hassle between the two of them that probably wasn't necessary, given their, their production span. But that's a rant that I can get into in probably a separate rant video, which I may do. I've, I've been tempted to do something along those lines, so. But, anyway. Yes, Albert Odyssey. Back to the, the game at hand. It's, it's a great game. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you all had fun watching it. And I hope you uh, stick to my channel for up, more upcoming projects. And, yeah. Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, I love the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. This has been Let's Play Albert Odyssey. Great RPG for a great system. Great music, graphics, gameplay, everything. It's been fun. So, yeah, as the title says, Finn. So, until next time, later everyone. <laughs>